going to happen? This bus is going to be unbelievable. We got it for three days, all of ourselves. There's not going to be a single fucking soul here. So we're going to take a little time off, relax. Every horror movie. Get lost. Seven, seven. That was creepy. Anyway, have Robert. a good night. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Yeah, just like don't go in that room. But I, I would still totally sleep there after that very ominous, um, ominous note. What if I wanted to break? Laugh it all off in your face. What would you do? side of himself oh that's good oh that's so good come break me down bury me bury me i'm finished with you it's like so many of us feel especially when we're struggling with something that there's like two versions of ourselves. There's like an okay version and then there's a pain version, or there's like a version that is really encouraging to ourselves. And then there's like this really critical version. It's like this constant battle in your mind back and forth. And it's like, what if I wanted to fight? Like, what if I wanted to be done with you? What would you do? Like, what if I just wanted to be one version of myself and not have to deal with this anymore? Ooh, that's really good. That's good. It's like the, the, the true version of yourself. Like once I found myself, it's like, I don't need you anymore. And it's like fighting against this, this self that like makes you feel bad about yourself or that's experienced a lot of pain or that's like, doesn't believe in you. Like all of that negativity. It's like, no, I know who I am now. I don't need you anymore. Like I want to just be me. I don't want 
to feel like I'm constantly fighting against this other version of me who doesn't believe in me, who has low self-esteem, who is, you know, ex experiencing depression, who feels like they don't fit in anywhere. That isn't the part of me that I want to feed. I want to get rid of that part of me. Interesting. Okay. If you feel like you can relate to there being two different versions of you, like one that believes in you and one that doesn't, one that's in pain and one that wants to fight for life, share in the comments below by tagging at Heart Support and we will encourage you. I just have to point out these lines. I tried to be someone else, but nothing seems to change. I know now this is who I really am inside. Often that other voice, that like other version of us tells us that we need to be someone else in order to be accepted, in order to be successful, in order to be loved. And it's like that, that, that purer version, that truer version is saying like, no, I tried to be someone else and this didn't work. So I'm done listening to you. And I found out who I am now and I'm going to figure this out. I do not like. <gasps> oh my god, no! Or. I love that in the back. I love, I love that. Okay, you guys, this song is really interesting. I really like this message. And, and I think that it's really powerful. And it actually, I think, tells us what to do. And I'm going to disagree with, with 30 Seconds to Mars here for a moment. I don't think that the best thing to do is to bury this version of you or to completely rip it apart from inside of you in the way that it might sound, right? Like bury me, we usually think of like, bury it down, shove it down, forget about it, throw it away. But what if we think about bury me in a different way? What do we think about bury me in terms of like, when we bury things in the ground, flowers or humans, not to get morbid, but eventually they will decompose and become a part of the earth and allow for new things to grow. So it's almost instead of burying to get rid of, to forget about, to shove aside, it's burying to integrate and create space for something new. So when we sing this, it's a call and an instructions of how to integrate this shadow part of ourselves, this part of us that we, we maybe don't resonate with, maybe that causes us pain, maybe that's mean to us. And how do we do that? First, we break it down. Take it one chunk at a time, one painful memory at a time one painful voice at a time, one thing that it tells you that you don't like, one symptom of your anxiety or your depression that you, you want to fix, one thing at a time, break it down, understand it, get to know it, and then integrate it so that new things can grow. Acceptance is a big part of integration, not burying to shove away and kill and destroy, but burying to plant. That's how we, how things grow is we plant them. You're going to take this pain, this person, this version of you that's causing you pain, has experienced pain, and you're going to take it chunk by chunk, piece by piece. Once you do that, you'll be able to understand it. You'll be able to integrate it and bury it like you would a flower, and then something new will grow. Bah. 
If you want to be someone who uses music to make meaning and help other people, check out my five songs to do exactly that by clicking the link down here. We'll get you in and we'll get you all the goods. Okay. I love y'all. Have a good day. Mwah.